Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. CDI is the latest development in Philips' highly successful CD technology. We're going to play some other songs. How about... The music of the night, which better have a girl rolling around on the hood of a jaguar. If it doesn't, I'll be very disappointed. The music of the night. I already love it. This, this game's great. Which button adds more hairspray? Ah, ich find's ganz schön langweilig in letzter Zeit. Mein Junge, dieser Friede ist etwas, das sich alle Kämpfer wünschen. Just press a button and you're filming. You're capturing a precious moment perfectly. Recording it for posterity. Welcome to Classic Game Room, coming to you from outer space, where it's time to immerse yourself in premium early 90s digital technology with the Philips CDI Interactive Media Entertainment from the future! Released in 1991, it's the Philips CDI Compact Disc Interactive, which predates the Panasonic 3DO, Sony PlayStation, and Sega CD. I have never met anyone in my entire life who owned one of these, because I think they were like a thousand dollars when they were new. And this was intended as more than just a game console, much more. For starters, it plays compact discs, music, played by laser beams. And if you were alive back then, you remember that CD players were freaking expensive. So this thing was not aimed at kids. Let's insert the Philips Audio Video Product Guide from 1992 and 93 on CD Interactive Disc. Welcome to the main menu of this CDI. This sounds very pleasant. Look at all of these fine products. Camcorders, Laserdisc, Boombox. Portable audio. Ghetto Blaster. Camcorder. How quaint my phone does that now. CDI. CDI. Photo CD. Laserdisc. Well, you know I'm down with Laserdisc. What's this CDI all about anyway? Oh, this is the time in the demo when we dance. I love if this music. For the latest in TV action and adventure, then look no further than a CDI player. Obsolete overpriced junk is the best, and I am giving this amazing demo disc a full review during CDI week. Because everything about this is win. Everything. The audio and laser disc discs can all be played on these players. The result is high performance video and audio. Okay, so not all CDI players play laser discs. This one is the CDI 450 which looks more like a traditional game console. It has a controller port in the front where you can plug in your knockoff Sega Genesis gamepad for the CDI, which is actually a very nice gamepad. Feels a lot like the Genesis controller. The CDI was not intended as just a game system. It plays interactive media, educational discs, <laughs> because you know we all love those. It's like the CD goes in and almost makes a smiley face, but not quite because I think this thing cost 1200 bucks when it was new. So Nintendo was releasing games for the Philips CDI, but not for the PlayStation 3. So way to go, Nintendo. Bekomme ich keinen Kuss, damit ich heil zurückkehre? Warum kannst du lange warten? Ich frage mich nur, was Garmon vorhat. This is great. In addition to lots of music CDs and concert discs, you can play Link, Faces of Evil, and Hotel Mario. That's right. Nintendo was there. So here's how you open this thing. You push on the lid and kind of pull it open because I think that part's broken. But we'll take out Link and insert Hotel Mario for the Philips CDI. Look at that. Shut it. And then the power button is around to the side. So if you put this in the equipment rack, you won't be able to turn it on or off. Good design, Phillips. <laughs> nice of the princess to invite us over for a picnic, eh, Luigi? I hope she made lots of spaghetti. Luigi, look! We gotta find the princess. And you gotta help us. That's a spicy meat to ball. <laughs> Alright, 
this isn't that bad. I need to dig into Hotel Mario and figure out how to play this, but it seems somewhat promising. And check out this tennis game, which reminds me of Mortal Kombat. Oh, what a terrific volley. It's, it's laughable by today's standards, and most of the games aren't very good, but you have to admire their ambition. Somebody had to do this stuff first. C can I get a 90s video montage up in here? There we go. Love the music, love the production values. Uh, this thing's great. I mean, look at this. We've got interactive menus. This was state of the art back then. And there's a few good games. Lemmings. And a whole bunch of concert discs. This was like DVD before DVD. Okay, Hotel Mario seems promising, but I've really been looking forward to Tina Turner Rio. 88, CDI, digital, video, cartridge required, what, what cartridge? Where do you put a cartridge in that thing? There's several models of Philips CDI technology, including this one, which looks more like a traditional DVD player, and even comes with a remote control. It appears that you can also plug the standard gamepad into the front of it. Technically ambitious, but a commercial. Disaster. From what I've read, Philips lost a lot of money on this. And I would never recommend getting one today. It's terribly outdated and there's not that many good games for it. Unless you're like Link superfan number one and need to play Faces of Evil, but be forewarned, it's expensive. As was shipping this, I imagine, so a huge shout out and thank you to Mark in Bremen, Germany once again for sending all of this to the show. I'm looking forward to Philips CDI week, because Lemmings is fun, that tennis game is going to be fun to review. And who can resist Link, Faces of Evil in German? Tina Turner Rio 88 gives us a selection of Tina Turner songs. We have intro, Addicted to Love, which is Robert Palmer, I believe. I Can't Stand the Rain, Typical Male, those men, and Better Be Good to Me, or I'll Stab You. Let's go with, uh, I like Robert Palmer, so I'm gonna go with Addicted to Love. That, wow, look at that hair. So here's where my life turns upside down. Not that I have anything against Tina Turner, but Tina Turner covering Robert Palmer is just weird. I, I can never unhear this now, it's just confusing. But for what it's worth, the audio and video quality of the Philips CDI is excellent for 1991. I can't take Tina defiling Robert Palmer's good music like that. It's the future from the early 90s, and you really don't want one. Go as far as to say that Philips has everything you need to make a complete home movie studio. Action. Action.